if you have seen any advertisement uh, of any coaching institution under the sun, not just for JE NEET, but for any uh, examination, what is talked about is the rank of the student, absolute rank. And if it is a very good rank, the coaching institution lays claim to it. Uh, one of the basic things which one has to understand is a coaching institution is responsible for transforming the rank of the student. So, when the student had come for admission, maybe in a JE course or a NEET course, which is a two year course in 11th and 12th, in 10th standard, when the child joined, what was the child's rank at a national level? Now, there is no way to find out many times because there is no such exam conducted in 10th standard to ascertain that rank. But there are other mechanisms by which you can ascertain that rank. So, let us say that child's rank was 1 lakh in the nation. After 2 years of coaching, what is the rank of the student? Let us say the rank was 25,000 eventually. So, the rank transformation which has happened over a period of 2 years is 75,000. So, he was 1 lakh then 25,000 after 2 years. So, a difference of 75,000 ranks, a positive rank transformation of 75,000 was effected by the coaching institution. Now, this is the real contribution of the coaching institution, please understand. So, instead of absolute rank, now if I were to tell you another example, this was one example, 1 lakh to 25,000 uh, rank transformation. Another student, a very brilliant student joined the coaching institution, whose rank in 10th itself was 100. And after 2 years, that student's rank was 300. So, actually there is a negative rank transformation of 200. So, minus 200 is the rank transformation. But when you just look at these two situations, one student getting 25,000 rank, the other student getting 300 rank, what, see, what appears is, oh, this 300 rank student has been there and the coaching institution has done wonderful work. But that is not the case. The coaching institution's program worked better for this 25,000 rank student because it transformed it positively from 1 lakh to 25,000. Whereas in the other case student, the student's rank was 100 and it got down to 300. So basically, absolute ranks are very deceptive. They do not tell you the correct story. In physics, there is this concept called potential energy difference. And, and the work done by an external agent is equal to the potential energy difference of the system. This is a physics concept. Not the absolute potential energy, but the change in potential energy of a system is caused by the work done by the external agent. Here the external agent is the coaching institution. And the potential energy difference we are talking about is the rank difference. So, if you use your physics right, if you use the science right, if you understand co coaching institutions and their contributions and the impact they make on students properly, then you would interpret it that as the coaching institution is responsible for rank transformations, not for absolute ranks per se. So, next time you see an advertisement of anyone uh, regarding making any claims of top ranks, your question you should ask is, what was this student's rank when the child had joined the program? And what was the student's rank after the child has completed the program? The rank difference is the crucial parameter to look for, not the absolute ranks as such. This is another marketing gimmick which is used by coaching institutions and ultimately to end cash on it. So, as a smart parent, as a wise student, you must look for rank transformations wherever it is possible for you to find out and then make your decision to join a particular coaching institution. Thank you very much.